Okay, today we're going to do 5.2b, the wheel. We're going to go ahead and start our new part, standard IPT, create. We're going to start a new sketch, XY plane, ready to go. So we see we have four circles here. The first one is a diameter of 0 0.440. Started our origin, wait till it turns green, type 4, 0.44, hit enter. See, it looks like they have another one. This one out here is 0.35 onto that. You'll notice this is given as a diameter, so it's 0.44 diameter. Therefore, the radius is equal to 0.22 plus 0.35 would give us a radius of 0 0.57. 0 0.57 times 2 is going to be a 1.14, and that's the way that we're going to give our circle. We give circles in terms of diameters. So 1.14, or you could say... 0.57 times 2. Make sure it's 0 0.57. 0 0.57 times 2. And that'll go ahead and draw our circle for us. Um, now we're going to click right click OK. We're going to come to our offset. Looks like the first one is offset inwards 0 0.05. 0 0.05, type hit enter. Second one looks like it's offset 0 0.05 outwards. 0 0.05, enter. So we have our two circles. Now we're going to finish our sketch. We're going to extrude that. We're just going to extrude in between the sets of circles. I probably should have picked the first one first. Let me go back through with my extrude. Finish sketch, extrude. Be easier to pick the inner one first and then the outer one. And it is a distance of 0 0.57. 57 enter. So we have our first part. From here, we're going to put our face onto our uh, wheel. You'll notice that it talks about doing some projected geometry and a mid plane extrusion. We'll talk about those. Um, so we're going to start a 2D sketch. We're going to do it on this face. It's going to square it up. Over here, project geometry. What this does is it brings. Um, pieces of information from previous features onto the current sketch. So we're going to project that circle and this circle. So that's going to be the features that we're going to need to bring on out. So from here, we are going to actually just finish our sketch. We're going to extrude. We're going to extrude on that face. But they mentioned a mid-plane extrusion. So here's going outwards. Here's going inwards. Here's a mid-plane and they said 0 0.05 was the extrusion right there. So what this does is it goes 0 0.025 outwards, 0 0.025 inwards in terms of stuff. And here's the way we're looking right now. So it's a little bit in, close it off all those faces, and a little bit out. And it comes to, if you look at our geometry, it looks like it comes to that inner circle of that and in the inner portion of this so everything connects. All right, now we have to draw some circles. So it looks like a 0.25. So we're going to go ahead and start 2D sketch. We're going to do it on this outer face right here. And go ahead and draw a circle, top dead center of 0.5. Once again, it's given as a 0.25 arcs are given in radiuses. We want a 0.5 circle. Enter. So from here, we're going to right click. We're going to finish sketch. We're going to actually make that extrusion. We're going to extrude this. Oh, I forgot to do something. So we're going to go back through, right click, edit sketch. And we're going to trim off that upper part of that circle. We don't want that. So we're going to finish sketch again. We're going to go ahead and extrude. We're going to extrude this portion here. But we're going to make a cut. And we only want to go in as deep as we need to, which is 0 0.05. We're going to hit OK. From here, we're going to use a new feature called Circular Pattern. That does, it allows us to copy one feature around a circle to go ahead and use it multiple places. So our feature we want to do, once again, look for the red arrow. We want to do... Circular Pattern feature we want to do. And in our axis, we want it to go around this circle. So... Pick the feature, the cut, we pick the axis, it looked at that cylinder and said, okay, I see where we want to go. 
we see that we want to go one, two, three, four, five. We want to go five holes. So we're going to type in five and hit OK. We'll go ahead and cut everything for us. And there we're looking really good. So now we're going to go ahead and change the color because we're all tired of gray parts by now. And I'm going to pick chrome polished blue for my wheel. So here is my wheel. You see, once again, as you zoom in on that edge, you can see how it is inwards 0 0.025 and outward 0 0.025. But that is our wheel. Thank you for watching. Let's save it. File, save as 5.2b. Wheel. Thank you for watching.